目前，德国正在紧锣密鼓地制定对华政策。德国外交部长贝尔伯克在欧洲的主要领导人相继访华的前后，也来到了中国。那这次行程对于贝尔伯克本人加深对中国的了解也非常重要。日前，德国外交部长贝尔伯克结束了对中国的访问。这不仅是贝尔伯克就任德国外长以来首次访华，也是他本人第一次到访中国。贝尔伯克在中国的第一站是天津，并且从天津和中国外交部长秦刚一起坐高铁从天津到达北京。德国专家分析说，此次中国行程对于贝尔伯克而言，时机选择非常重要。这次访任不仅仅是公务上的，对于贝尔伯克个人增加对中国了解也很重要。The Chinese side made an effort to accommodate this notion, this desire of Miss Bear Bock. To see more of China, by the foreign minister welcoming her in、uh, Tianjin, which is his hometown, traveling together with her on the train, so that they had an opportunity not only to discuss problems,、uh, delegation to delegation, but、uh, to chat, to get to know each other. So I think taking that into account,、uh, she has managed to、um, establish. For herself, a feeling for what China is like, and that I think will serve her well in the future, and、uh, will serve Chinese interests well as well. Bei Er Bok 强调了坚持双方经济合作的决心，明确反对脱钩。同时，他在讲话中表示，如果中国成为世界最强大的国家之一，会选择怎样的道路？这会影响到欧洲对华的政治和经济策略。大多数德国媒体认为，贝尔伯克此行的立场和他一贯的立场是相对一致的。A good politician who travels abroad into a country with which Germany has not only harmonious relations but problems that need to be resolved, and then returns home and is not facing any criticism, probably has not done their job right. I think. Uh, Ms. Beber, whichever trip she came from, she came back from.、Uh, she faced criticism as much as applause. She has said nothing in China, which she hasn't said before. But、uh, the fact that she did it in China now is, of course, setting a different tone compared to our own chancellor, to Mr. Macron, certainly. The fact that she, she, she traveled now certainly is a coincidence. Just imagine they would have gone to South Korea and Japan. And not to China, that would have been close to a scandal, of course. So they tried to pack it all into one trip. Fang Huawei, Sun Qian, Taiwan Beijing News.